Right now I'm at Target. I'm going to pick out two scientific calculators. I'm going to do a tutorial videos for you. And the other one is going to be for giveaway. It is this one. I'm going to pick out two of this. This is the price right now at Target. After tax, it's about $21. Make sure that you watch till the end of the video so you know what to do to win this calculator. So now let me show you guys real quick about how we can use this scientific calculator to solve some of the typical math questions. For the first one, we are going to solve this quadratic equation, and this is where we are going to go. Go to menu, and for the first option, you see this is for simple calculations. That's not what we want. We want to solve equations, so be sure you press down right here to option A for equations. I'll press equal, and this is a polynomial equation with degree 2, so I'll choose option 2. And the degree right here, as I mentioned it, is 2. And notice that it also solves degree 3, degree 4 for you. But let's press 2. And the calculator requires you to have the equation in the standard form. The right hand side has to be 0. It is, right? So we can just enter these numbers. 5, negative 18, and then negative 8. Press equal, press equal. First x value is 4, and press down, the second x value is negative 2 over 5. Sometimes if you want to get a decimal, press S to D, negative 0.4, all right? This is a quadratic situation if you press down again. In this case, you know this is the open up parabola. It will also tell us about the minimum when x is equal to 9 over 5, and the y value for the minimum is negative 121 over 5. That's a vertex, pretty much. Cool, huh, right? And now let's deal with this system of equations. Let me point it out for you guys. If you press on right now, we'll press all clear, you will still be in the equation mode. What you have to do is go to menu and then press 1. We'll just go back up for option 1 so you can get back to the original screen and you can do this simple computation. But anyways, for the second question here, we are still going to solve equations. So let me press menu again and go down to option A. This is a simultaneous equation, which is number one right here. How many unknowns do we have? Well, we have x, y, z. We have three of them, so press three. And now let's enter all the coefficients, all the numbers. Be sure everything's lined up. This right here is a one. So we have one x. And then this is a negative one y. So this is negative one. And then for the z is negative four. And you get the idea. And the right hand side here is 11. All right, you know, five, two, 10, 11, and then three, Four, four, and, and sometimes if you're missing a variable, let's say if you don't have this 2y right here, you just enter 0 right there, all right? But this is what we have, and let me just press equal, x is equal to 5, go down, y is equal to negative 2, z is equal to negative 1. How convenient is this? Now, complex numbers. This is how we have to do it. As you can see, we have the i button here in purple. To get that, first go to the menu again, and we're going to go back up. Option two is for complex numbers. So press two right here. You have to be in the complex mode right here in order for this button to work, all right? Use the fraction key right here, and then let's just enter this. Eight minus two, use this for the i, and then just go down, we have five plus four i. Enter, look at this. Complex number in the a plus bi form, right? The last one here on this page, we have log base 8 of 4. This calculator allows you to enter log with any base that you want with this button. So let me just press this. The base is 8, so just press 8 and then move to the inside. And we have to press 4. And we are done. If you want decimal, just press S to D. And now let me show you guys a few more questions that we can do on this calculator. For example, number 5, we are going to do the inverse sine of 1 half. As you can see on the calculator, this is sine, and the inverse sine is yellow. And to get to inverse sine, we will have to first press shift, and then the sine button, and this is inverse sine. Inside here, we have 1 half. So go ahead, press the fraction key, and then press 1 over 2. And be sure you close the parentheses like this. And then press equal, we have 30. 30 what? Well, as you can see, we have the little d right here. The d stands for degree. So, sine of 30 degree is 1 half. That means the inverse sine of 1 half is 30 degrees. Well, sometimes we have to use radians. What can we do in that case? Go to setup. This right here is a setup in yellow. So, press shift and setup. Option 2, we have the angle unit. So, press 2. And we want to use radians. So, we press 2. And we can do this again. And you see, we will have... 1 over 6 pi. This is great, right? And now let's do the summation right here. We have the summation in yellow right here. Let's go ahead and hit the shift and this. But you see, nothing pop out. And the reason is because we are still in the complex mode. To fix that, hit the menu button 
and go back to calculate and press equal and now let's do it again shift and this we have the summation right here we have to use x because the calculator says so already here all right and that's entered inside we have four and let's use this x right here four x minus one and we also have to know x goes from three to eight so be sure you just press down right here enter three and we go up and then we have eight and we have the answer 126 excellent for the derivative Yes, right here in yellow again, so shift and derivative. Inside, we have a rational function, so press the fraction key, and we have x over 1 plus x squared. And we have to give the x value. Unfortunately, the calculator cannot give you the expression for the derivative. It can only give you the value of the derivative. And you have to enter the x value. In this case, let's say x is equal to 3. And this is what we have negative 0.08 this is a decimal sometimes you want fraction well if you press this it doesn't give you fraction and this is what you can do just go ahead and clear this and then press negative 0.08 and the calculator will give you the fraction Next. last one we have this integral so let's go ahead and do the integral hit this right here and inside we have the square root so here's the square root button notice that if you want to enter any other radical you have to use this key in yellow so be sure you hit shift and that but in here we just need a square root so let's go ahead and hit the square root and we have the x and it goes from 1 to 4 and we have the answer 14 over 3 how cool is this calculator Hey, thanks for watching my video and by now I'm pretty sure you guys would like to have one of this calculator, right? Because this is just so cool and so powerful, isn't it? And here's a chance for you guys to win a calculator. I have another brand new calculator right here. It only takes two steps. First, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And second, you have to write a comment down below in this video. And the winner is going to be whoever has the most number of likes on his or her comment by december 31st 2016 so once again just comment down below of whatever you want make it funny and be creative in the last two three years i have been getting a lot of nice comments and a lot of comments have made my days so i appreciate you guys for watching my videos and here is a calculator for you guys and you should be writing the comments right now the sooner you finish the comments the better chance you have to get more likes right once you have the comments done of course you can send the videos to your friends so your friends to help you like the comments and thank you guys so much for watching my videos i will be continuing doing the videos for you guys and good luck of winning this calculator i'll see you guys soon happy holidays